Well, today's the day we make our way down to Luton Airport. Or is it East Midlands? What airport, Sharon? East Midlands. Trust me to get it wrong. And uh, yeah, we're going to make our way down now. I've just been out and cut the grass and Sharon's doing a bit of housework indoors. I've got to say tell to these two little monkeys. We'll be leaving pretty shortly. What are we, Merlin? And uh, yeah, just cut the grass. Second cut of the season. It's looking okay. Still a little few little bits uh, where it's still a little bit damp. The, the, the mower don't pick them up properly, but um, all in all, it's all right, Sharon. What do you think? You gonna what? Feed me birds. Feed your birds. But well, they won't think to feed them. Of course they, they won't. Anyway, Sharon's gonna do that. We've got the old uh, apple tree and pear tree that's come up in full blossom. What? I want this cut here. What's that? Then? I want to try and keep it small. Yeah, we don't. And it going over their roof and into their garden. See, that's oh, yeah. quite a big bit. We cut that. Well, you can't just cut it there. You cut it on the seam. But yes, all. Yeah, I, I'm it's not got sure. New shoots coming out there. I know, but I don't when want I, this, I, I don't want this one to come out this way. You see. Well, then we we'll trim that back. Yeah. I just well, don't want it getting too tall and interfering with next door. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough. But this pear tree, we actually had loads of stuff on this last year, didn't yeah. we? And uh, that one didn't bloom out last year, but they, apparently they don't, they don't do it every year, Sharon. It's every yeah. other year. So we've got our uh, little bird table. This you you filled the nuts up there. The squirrel comes for this as well, didn't he? Yeah, he was swinging on her the other day and I let the dogs out. And he just made it back to the fence in time before yeah. he got Merlin fired. Did you nearly have the squirrel, Merlin? Hey, Merlin, did you nearly have the Google, squirrel? Google, you're going to get the squirrel. You're a hunter, Mer well, he was. Not he now. was, yeah, he was a hunter in Cyprus, wasn't he? Then when he had his man, he'd remove them big things that he had. The old plum, yeah. Sharon, more plums in the garden. He's put on weight, isn't he? Yeah. Because he don't eat a lot. No, he don't. That's, uh, as they're eating grass. Lost his testosterone, didn't he? Yeah. I think. Is that how it works? Oh, don't like the sound of that, folks. Get your plums off. Anyway, that's another story. Right, so yeah, it's actually a very nice day here today, so... Um, yeah, council the holiday, we stay. I don't think so. <laughs> right, we're going to do a bit more indoors, folks. We're going to be on our way. We'll take you and show you a little bit of the journey, and also when we get to the hotel room. Is it a Premier Inn, Sharon? Yeah. It's another Premier Inn, and uh, we'll show you around that. And I think we've got no breakfast in the morning, is there, because we're up early. Yeah, three o'clock. We can get in at three and then we've got to leave at three or something. Is it leave at three? Yeah, bad balance. We can book into the hotel, so... Yeah. No, when we leave in the morning? Quarter to three, because it's on the airport site. Oh, it's actually on the site? Yeah, where well, we stayed last time. I can't remember, Sharon. Premier, and we got to go in car park three. Yeah, we'll make sure we go in the right car park this yeah. time, because last time when we went out, they wanted to charge us 372 quid. See, the thing is, the gate shouldn't open if that's not the correct car park for no, you. There you go. Anyway, we'll uh, play that one boy and we'll make sure definitely... Mind you, saying that, no wonder they open if they're going to charge you 300 odd pounds. We didn't have to pay it though, folks. We're lucky we got out of it. Anyway, we'll see you in a minute. Or oh, a bit later on, actually, not in a minute. It might be in a minute for them, sure. Yeah, it'll be in a second. Right, we ain't away yet, shall we? are going to do a little bit of lunch, aren't we? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I've just had this battery charger and... Um, not battery charger, power bank and tyre inflator on charge. Take that with us, folks. And I'm going to have a steak with some uh, salmon. This will probably be the main meal today, to be honest with you. Well, it will be. Hey? It will be. It will be, that's right, baby. You've got what in here, Sharon? Two frozen lamb Let's chops. have a look. She's actually put them in frozen, folks. Two lovely, oh, lovely size pepper lamb chops. Not too sure how long they're going to do. She's going to start off with uh, 15 oh. minutes. Frank, we're going on holiday. Hey? Look. What's it? Your skateboard? No, scooter? scooter. Can you tell everyone it's a scooter, Frank? Look, Frank, say it's a scooter. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Come on, Mummy, sort your life out. <laughs> so, a little bit of oil and butter, Sharon. Oil, olive oil. Yeah. And uh, my throat, my steak is also semi-frozen, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. I know people say, wait, it's got to be room temperature and all that old stuff, but um, I'm hungry. We're getting... Oh, it's, no, it's done, Sharon. We put, as you cook it properly. We put that in um, warm water or hot water before we went out. That was about 20 minutes ago. And it's actually fallen out, Sharon. What is it done? We've got the salmon as well. Sharon's going to have a bit of salmon. I'm going to have a bit of salmon. So let's get them out. I know. Hey, baby. They put them on afterwards, Sharon, didn't it? Yeah, they don't take long. Can you... Um, I'm doing my steak, Sharon, because I can't hold that and do that at the same time. You see, I'm, 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 not, I'm not ambidextrous or unidextrous. 
But I've got a lovely steak there. Oh, look at that. You can't multitask. Ribeye shower. My hands aren't clean, people. Yeah, don't worry about that shower. I'll trust you. I've eaten your food all my life. Do you know what? I've never had food poisoned, yeah. have you? Ever. Yeah, I'm going to take that off. Because that will steam. Going a bit mad in it at the moment. Who is it? Project man. What? You on your scooter? Yeah? Frank, you're going to look after Merlin and Dougal when we go away? Come on. You're going to look after Merlin and Dougal? Yeah, I do, mate. Yeah, okay, mate. Thank you. Get that bat butter moving underneath it. You can't beat butter, the smell of butter, folks, when it's cooking. You don't want to put it up too high because it will burn. Oh, the phone's going again, Sha. That's the house phone, isn't it? Yeah. Off you go, baby. Well right, I'm going to cook this down a little bit, folks. I'm not going to turn it over yet until I see the um, cooking line come about halfway up through the steak. I'm going to go in with some um, sea salt. The old pink Himalayan stuffy. You need plenty of salt on the uh, carnivore, folks, because uh, it keeps your electrolytes up. And I'm also going to go in with the uh, black pepper as well. We love these uh, pepper and salt grinders. They're fantastic. Right, plenty of that on. There you go. Well, I'll let that cook down for a bit. And I'll come back to you. Right, they've been on for about five minutes, I think. Already they're cooking down, folks. Look, so efficient, this uh, Turbo Blaze Kasori. In fact, I might even turn them over. Yeah, they are still frozen, look. Well, I know they're going to take a long time. Yeah. I'm That's all right, baby. What have you got them on? 200? I've got them on the frozen one. Oh, it's a frozen setting. Of course there is, folks. Look, I didn't realise that. Look, frozen setting. Frozen. Right, coming over here. Let's have a look at the other side of this now, people. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's lovely. That butter really imparts a lovely flavour. And while it's there, I'm just going to do the, uh, the other side. Like that. And also the pepper. Don't get black pepper on that. What you got? Your ball? Can I have a look? What does it do? Oh, you throw it? Okay, mate. You throw it, mummy. Right, baby. Cooking on gas? No, electric. Yeah, as soon as we've been out, we've just been out again, haven't we? Yeah. What's the weather like now? Oh, okay, we're going, no, Looks we're like staying. it's going to pour down with rain, doesn't it? But it's cut grass, so I'm happy. Yeah. Sorry? Where are you going? Next door? <laughs> go on, off you go then. See you later. Bye. Okay, I've just dropped the um, the fish in now for me and Sharon. One, she's got one bit, oh, I've got two bits. And she's got two chops, you see. And uh, move that over there a bit. Put them over now, see what they look like on the other side. They won't take long to cook these at all. The steak's done, really. Oh, yeah. There you go. Lovely. What a lo If you could smell this, people. There you go. I'm going to get the steak out now. Come over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. I'm just going to turn the temperature down now a little bit to 500. I think that's nearly probably done that salmon, to be honest with you. Just get that butter going through it, look. Lovely, isn't it? Woo! How about that? Right. Okay. Let's try a bit of that salmon first. Cooked in butter. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. And this ribeye. So tender. Probably medium that, which I love. Oh. 
I poured the butter sauce over the top of it out of the frying pan as well. That's great. All right. It makes so much difference seasoning the steak properly and also having that butter, cooking it in that butter. It tastes absolutely superb. Mmm. I'm going to have this and I'll come back to you afterwards. See what her chops look like afterwards. How are they coming on? Yeah? That one's ready and I'm going to keep that one in there. Just to keep cooking crispy up. Wow, look at them pumps. Look, look at that look. Because I do like them a bit crispy. Get that in and I'll get off Shannon. Let's yeah. have a look at that. See what that's like. Oh, do you hear that crunch? Go on, off you go. He says, burn your mouth, Sha, before you go. No, no you eat it at your own pace, baby. You're big enough and ugly enough to know what you've got to do. Cooked? Mm -hmm. Cooked well by the looks of it. That's how I like it. There you go, folks. Look at that, look. Still bubbling, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, still bubbling, that. Look, that is superb. Enjoy, baby. Right, I'm going to go and sit down, put my feet up, have a drink, because I've got a little bit of a headache. Well, here we are. We're in the room. I wanted to... Well... <laughs> This is the second time we filmed this show, isn't it? I was just doing the editing, folks, and I've realised that I pressed the pause button when I thought I'd press the play button. So what we've recorded is not there. Silly Billy. So we'll, we'll do the room again for you. Literally, I say we just well, I say we've been in and out for about an hour, but um, had a nice cup of coffee. Yeah, we've had a cup of coffee. Although it's not percolated or filtered coffee, no, Sharon, no, is it? No, but it's let's just than let's show you the room anyway. So coming in, we've got a little. Tea or coffee station there. We've had a look in the kettle, Sharon. It's actually spotless. I'm not going to bother doing that again, but just to let you know, you do get some complimentary coffees. We had two of each here, Sharon, didn't we? Yeah. But um, you've been down to reception, and they said down there that you can actually yeah, have as many as you like. Down there and everything, but yeah. you just help yourself. The main room light is very, very dim when we come in, so we've actually had to go around and turn every individual light on because the room's very, very dim, Sharon, mm. isn't it? Yeah. But typical. Premier in bed, very, very comfortable. She's already been in there, as you can see. I'm just missing my purple light. You know, I love my purple Yeah, light. well, that's on the Premier yeah. Plus, isn't it? The only thing is, it's down by each side. Of, although you've got little bedside tables here, we've been in them before, where they've got the charging ports or yeah. a 13-amp socket where you can plug stuff into. I just think this is an older hotel, isn't it, this one? Yeah. This is old. So there is that. You do get two towels. We've got two towels there. There is a little station there. I would imagine that's for... Um, There's a telephone thing there, look. Yeah, I don't, I don't think... But show that. That's old. That shows how old it is. Yeah, look, an old, old USB point Audio. there. Yeah, so I don't know what that is as well. Ah. But you have got an old USB point there. You've also got your, your sockets are on your desk there, so you've got to charge your stuff up on the desk, Sharon. Yeah. You've got another set of pillars up on there, which is... Um, they do hard and soft ones. We're not too sure what we got, but um, Sharon likes it hard. Yeah. Well, that's sad. Don't say nothing, Sharon. No. We have got air con up there, as you can see. It's actually just right in here, isn't it, the temperature? Yeah, the room's just right, actually. We have got a window which opens here, folks. Sharon's just closed this one. We've got the, um, Traffic noise. the double glazing. Yeah, the double glazing does work well. And uh, it lets a nice bit of fresh air in during the day. So I that, only shut it because you were still Yeah, that's it. a nice little thing. You get a little chair there, a little table there to sit down and have your coffee with or whatever. As I say, you turn your lights on from the bedside and also them up there. Free Wi-Fi as well there is. Yeah, well, that's pretty common with all of these now. You can upgrade it to Premier Ultimate Wi-Fi if you want to download oh, can and you? do things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you've got the flat screen TV there with a remote coming through into the, um, the actual bathroom. Pretty basic. Um, you've got a tower out up there. You've got a large headed shower there. Shower wanted one where you've got a little hand one there as well, wouldn't you? Mm, yeah. But they haven't got that air, so she likes to wash her hair when she's in the bath. You do get a Bayless and Harding, mm, that's yeah. a shower and body wash or whatever. And coming over to the sink there as well, you've also got a Bayless and Harding uh, white tea and Neroli luxury hand wash. There you go. It's all nice and clean, all spotless. It's spotless, the whole place is spotless. Yeah, very clean indeed. Nice, right. friendly staff. That's the only thing I, I, we've noticed that before, Shia. With the Premier rooms, just the normal Premier room, not the Premier Plus, you get these little big single yeah. pool ones there. Whereas in the Premier Plus where we've been in there before, you get, get, toilet pro rolls. get proper toilet rolls. So uh, there is that to notice. These silly little peel bins, I don't know what they have these for, look. 
you put your foot on them, although it's wedged in the corner there, but they do come forward when you put your foot on them. We've had that before. So yeah, basically that's it. That's our room. No no negative smell in here at all, Shell. It's very clean. Very, the bed's very nice clean and tidy. Very I'll say, although Shell's been, was, been, like, I've been laying on it watching yeah. the program. So there you go, that's our premiere of room folks. We're gonna chill out now. We gotta get up early in the morning. The time now is probably quarter to six and uh all we've had today is that steak and showing out her chops. That's probably all we're going to eat today. And uh, up early tomorrow, we'll take you on the journey. It'll probably be dark when we get the camera out. And uh, we'll take you through the airport, show you all the, the procedure there. We have done it before, but it's just all part and parcel. Get on the plane, and we'll show you flying down to Tenerife. Woohoo, see the sun. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, folks. A little bit of a... Oh, that's another thing as well. I just realised I've got a bloody mouse in the car, Sharon. There's bloody mouse droppings in the car. So I've had it before and we put the mouse trap in there, the humane ones, and we caught two mice in there, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. So my car's been parked in the same space for a, a, quite a while now. In fact, Jimmy's got mice in your car as well, yeah. Sharon, hasn't he? So Not in the new one, the old No, one. the old car, he's got her Astra, hasn't he? Jimmy's got her Astra. So that's something we're gonna have to look into when we get back. They're getting in from somewhere, probably through the bulkhead, there's probably a grommet missing or something like that. So yeah, just notice that we've got mice in the car. <laughs> you got a job for it when you get home. Of course it is. Anyway, thanks very much folks. Don't forget, don't forget to join us on our little uh, escapade to Tenerife. You're there with us. Subscribe and make sure you're still days. subscribed as well. Yeah. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.